jam. Uh, we took a main road, I forget the name of the main road. 45 to 38 out of Dolores. Yes. So this is called Geyser Spring Trailhead. And so the pavement turns into gravel. And um, here, I'll see if I can turn the camera around real quick. So it turns into gravel road. Not bad. We didn't air down. It's not It's not uh, washboardy. So this takes you to, they're saying, this is the only known geyser in Colorado. And it's small. Look at the horse. Look, there's, there's, <laughs> wow, right there's there. Horses. No fence, no nothing. That's a lot of horses. But this, yeah. I got to can't this is a beautiful drive until until we got to the gravel part it's so beautiful but we were thinking about the motorcycles so um anyways about the geyser it doesn't do anything major but it does bubble and it does do a little spitting um and every, it does every half hour to 40 minutes yes so we're hoping we're gonna and how long is the hike uh mile, mile and a quarter -ish. mile and a quarter to get there um each way, so we're gonna take you along. Show you this geyser. Sorry if we got buggers on the um, buggers on the um, windshield, but it we do was clean. we do clean it every time uh, we head out. But as everybody knows about these jeeps and most people with the windshield, it's hard to avoid. It's super vertical. Yes. The Geyser Spring Trailhead, and guess what? As always, parking lot. <laughs> Nobody, ah, not a love soul. It. Love it, love it. Oh my gosh, it's got a beautiful bridge, and look at this. It's a for a tree. Oh, this is awesome. It's awesome. See the bridge? Oh my God, it's beautiful. <gasps> We're right next to the river there we got some sunflowers we're going to take you along on this trailhead guys the little whatever those little things are i know we got crickets on this trail we just started look, look i don't know if you can see them <laughs> yeah everybody they're all jumping as soon as you walk through it gets them all riled up so we wanted to show you this bridge it's absolutely beautiful and we're going to show you a little bit of this creek and you can start to hear it Oh, wow, guys. Nice. This is beautiful. This is the bridge. Wow, look. All right. Listen to that sound. I could put my chair right there, Lance. Maybe we could have lunch there. All right, heading back to trail. It is about a 500 elevation gain, and we are feeling it. <laughs> Already. A little out of breath. Plus, we're actually trying to beat, there was a family that came in behind us, so we're trying to get to the geyser the first. <laughs> 
and elevation gain is no joke. <laughs> when uh, at least we're in the shade too, it's nice. Yeah, I mean it's like seventy five, I think. Yeah. Kudos to Flo. I found this. I'm very good at detective work and finding uh, the off the beaten trail. Had to get a picture of Lance and the aspens are beautiful. So, very nice setting. Shaded. It's an easy trail. Dirt trail. It looks like horses have been back here. You can see horse off. Yeah, probably horse. Horses definitely go horseback riding. That's what I'm trying to say. But it's a really nice trail. Nice find. Now, I think we're at like 9,000 feet. Yeah. Where we're staying is about seven. seven. Now we are eventually, we are, uh, have it just a little bit to the higher elevation. I can know. Yeah. Look at these aspens. Beautiful. Nice. How cool. Hiking through an aspen forest. It is. It's beautiful. All right, about a quarter mile in to a half a mile, you're going to start smelling something a little different, and it's the sulfur in the air. So at first we thought it was cow duty or something, but then we realized, oh, we're getting close. What's really cool is this trail is so underdeveloped. I mean, it's barely big enough to walk through. So it's like, it doesn't feel like you're at a park or yeah. we're out here by ourselves. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We love these kind of trails and adventures. And always flowers. And I'm, yeah. Yellow, white, purple, all right in the same, same spot. Here is what you really call a natural bridge. <laughs> I just want to give you, a, it's beautiful show you all the sticks and limbs and twigs all that is truly a natural bridge all right we're a little further in on the trail and you see some tree roots and a little bit of rock nothing major but the elevation gains kicking the butt. <laughs> good news is we go downhill so the payoff's worth it it's beautiful here Aspen trees, beautiful wildflowers. You'll see my photographs later. Daisies and sunflowers and um, some white flowers, yellow, purples. Pretty cool. It's beautiful. That's why they call it beautiful Colorado. Colorful. Colorful. Colorful Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're, we're making headway. Make sure you stop to take breaks and drink water. A river back here. Oh yeah, pretty cool. Lots of butterflies too. It's so great, awesome, surreal to be in nature. Well, At least, smell. yeah. All right, we just climbed another steep hill and now we're into river rocks climbing a hill. It's not too horrible. It's mainly the elevation <laughs> because we went from 7,000 to 9,000 and then we're climbing elevation. So we're kind of not used to being in higher elevations. But you hear my breathing. Good workout. <laughs> But as you can see, it's beautiful. Onward and upward. <laughs> More. <laughs> but the good news is we come downhill. <laughs> All right, we ran across the small. We didn't run across it, we heard it. <laughs> we heard it. First geyser. It is bubbling, we're not too close. I just zoomed in, just so everybody knows. It's stinky. It's stinky, but um, it's kind of cool seeing on a smaller scale out here it's just in the middle of nowhere in the mountains. Can we taste it? No. no. That is cool. It's 
hard to believe it's coming out of there. All right, our first one. It's small, but at least we got to see one, right? I just wanted to show you some of the flowers. They're just beautiful in this trail. Just beautiful butterflies. Birds. Birds. It's just beautiful. Aspens all red around rock, us. Like Sedona looking red rock yeah. across the way. Let's get a really good uh, picture. I don't know if you could see it. I'll go up here. She's a red rock. Up here's a little. Gotta find a clear path. It is. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little bit of a grim. I wanted to show them a little bit of that. See but that? That's because it's not well traveled. Yeah. Look at the aspens. We're just in it. All right. We, I think we're getting really, really close to the other geyser. Because I can barely breathe. <laughs> it's, it stinks. <laughs> oh, God. That's, oh, yeah. Here it is. You're going to see it firsthand. We're not going to get super close. But. That's it. What? <gasps> oh, my God. I get to see my first one. Real one. <gasps> wow, guys. It's bubbling. Awesome. Don't get too close. It, no, it spits, so be careful. Get yeah. back. Come back here. Oh, we're super wow. excited. We're going to show you our first real geyser, and then we're going to get out because it does spit and bubble. That is cool. Look at that, guys. Look at it bubbling wow. and the color. That nice. Wow. Our first real geyser. We got to see a mini one first time on the trail. But. That is cool. Yeah. The only geyser. I'm gonna zoom in on the bubbles. In Colorado. The only geyser they believe they have not found any other ones here in Colorado. So here you are, guys. Worth the hike. It's a little bit of elevation gain. I would yep. say it was about how much land? Eight, nine hundred. Well. Elevation gain. All trail says 1.2 miles out, and it took us 40 minutes. If yeah. that, I mean, we stopped for pictures here and there, but. Yeah. That's a pretty long time for a mile and a quarter. And 866 foot elevation gain. Wow. And some of the trail, it's so cool because within just an hour or so, you can go kind of from desert feel to we're like in in a jungle. It's very uh, like humid. There's ferns and everything's lush and green. Yeah. That is so Nice cool. find. We're going to stay in here a few minutes, see if it does anything else. Well, it's supposed to be every 30 to 40 minutes. But it's it bubbling and all. Well, but it's bubbling, it's, but, it, but is that, that normal be, bubbling? Uh, it may be normal. All right, we're going to take a little break, get some water, and we're going to keep an eye on that. All right, we're heading back to the trail. Uh, pretty much the geyser bubbles like you just saw for about 15 minutes. It doesn't do any really splurting up or spitting. It's a smaller geyser, but it was pretty cool that to was see. Awesome. But we wanted to show you this view. And this has got a little bit of snapshot of what Colorado is about. The green trees, the aspens, the red rocks in the mountain formation there. And the flies. Yeah, we got to get moving. They're coming after us. Okay, so we've only passed that one family with kids. That's it today. This is why we love digging deeper into the areas. Another score. <laughs> Good job, Flo. Yes, kudos to me. I am very good at finding um, the off the beaten path kind of trails um, and this was absolutely beautiful. Kudos, everybody should do this cool. trail. Now, so cool. there is some elevation gain but the payoff is, I mean, I'm just talking the beauty of just the hike. It's not hard. Flowers. It's not hard at all. It's all pretty smooth. The trail's like this. Once in a while you got some roots and rocks but it's very, very doable. It's just the, it's the just elevation beautiful. gain when you're not used to it. Climbing up is, it, you feel it. Yeah. Yeah, this is, and you're in the shade most of the time. Yeah. Higher elevation, it's 70 some degrees here. We are sweating, obviously, because we're hiking and we did do some major elevation. I got to say, the elevation on the one line was incorrect. <laughs> uh, but you had the smaller geyser um, about, what, a mile in? And then the larger ones at the end, um, 
1.2 mile, 2.5, something like that, miles. And Lance is going to post his, um, he's tracking us. I always like giving um, people real information because there's so much different information online and you don't know what's real, what's true, how far did they go. Um, so we like giving a full description. So you can see the trail. Pretty easy. We're going down. We're so happy. <laughs> and we are got water. Um, we do have snacks, and we are gonna suck down some water when we get down this mountain here. Oh, and we're uh, get a car show on the way back. Yes, Dolores. I'm telling you, Dolores is such a small, quaint, cute little town. Has wonderful thrift stores. I'm a big thrift store shopper. I um you know, do secondhand clothes, donate stuff to thrift stores, beautiful thrift stores, um, restaurants, uh, Dolores Brewery is there. Um, they're constantly got activities and stuff. They have a farmer's market on Wednesday evening at four. And it's a wonderful market, fresh vegetables, lettuce, carrots, handmade jewelry, all kinds of stuff. It's, it's really surprising because it's a very, very small town. I mean, it's a blink your eyes and you're through it now. But we love staying in those kind of towns. I, I got to be honest, I don't know about Lance, but I am not a city girl. I'm a country girl. You don't know that. Uh, you're a country guy, teasing. Ha ha. I'm only teasing. Um, we're both country out in the mountains kind of people. And we love the desert, but I'm talking more of um, being away from the big cities. We like small towns. And we like supporting the locals restaurants and the and the shops and stuff good thing there's the guys are good thing we don't have smell a vision All right, here's some baby aspens, and what we love about them is how they just shimmer. Look at that. They're just shimmering. And the breeze is dying down. Yeah. We're trying to hightail it. One thing you got to remember, anytime you do any type of trail, jeeping, uh, mountain biking, or um, hiking, check the weather. We got something coming up over the mountain here, so we're going to try to hightail it back. All right, we're coming through this really pretty section. Look at all the beautiful flowers, guys. It's so colorful. The purples, the whites, the yellows. Just beautiful. There's a bee, look. See yeah. if you can get the bee. Try to get the bee. He's going from flower to flower. There he is. These are so pretty. It is pretty. They're all around us and look the rocks. Oh, we got some dark clouds. Let's keep moving. But look how beautiful it is. And then you got the aspens and the flowers and the dirt trail. Just a small little creek. Coming down. So peaceful. Yeah, he's beautiful. Look at that. It's beautiful. All the flowers. The awesome about being out more in the country is free range cow and horses. So, oh, look at the baby running. Um, we ran. I'm, I'm actually scared of cows too. I know somebody else out there is scared of cows. And um, but uh, look. who was it? <laughs> was it Jacqueline? Hutchins? Yes, <laughs> Jacqueline. I'm right. If you watch this video, I totally get it. I'm scared of cows too. And, cows. and and they they're looking at us, and then that makes me more scared. So we were way up there. We're at the bottom of the trail now. We were way way up there, and there were cattle 
like up in the mountain. It was pretty cool. Oh my God, they're running down. It scared me. It was a black one. I thought it was a bear. All right, so we're at the end of the trailhead, and we definitely have some friends here. Look at this. Straggler. Look. Yeah, but I'm going to cap. Look at that. They're just beautiful. Get him, her, whoever. This one's a straggler. <laughs> There. He's like, hold on, guys, wait for me. Now, you're dealing with wild animals. I know I'm a little scared of cows, but they do have babies, and we did get a couple looks. So I'm just warning everybody: do don't not, stop. don't get too close They're to cattle. them. They're cattle, but they got babies. How cool is this to end yeah. our hiking trip? I mean, I trail. can walk right over to them. That's pretty neat. Yeah. And we saw the horses that. I'm were, gonna try like, to zoom in a little bit further. We're testing our horses. zoom, and just see how it does. Look at him walking. Uh, let's see if I can capture him. There he is. He's catching up. All right, we're still here watching the cows. And I haven't gotten eaten yet. Haha. <laughs> He's going up the hill. Let it focus. Yeah, there's the... the snapshot. Looks like there's one thing. steer. Yeah, way, way out there. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. Yeah, that's as far as I can go. But it's pretty cool. If so, he's been busy because there's a lot of mamas and babies out there. <laughs> you can actually see the cow's <laughs> tongue. He's eating the weeds. Oh, they're very pretty cows. Yeah, some of them are Oh pretty. my gosh, here comes a whole herd, guys. Oh <laughs> he brought the, the little black ones bringing in the rest of the herd. Hey, look, they're, oh, that one's a cool color one. Oh, they're running. The first one. How cool is it to see cows running? As long as they don't come over here. Okay. There's like another dozen of them. Listen to them all talking to each other. <laughs> oh, they hear us. Yeah. See? They're just watching. They're they, get, they got babies. They're just watching. This first one coming out of the woods on the right has some really cool coloring, almost like a brindle. I've never seen a cow with it. The, there color. he is. Yeah. He's the one that watched us before, wasn't he? Yeah. I think he went back to get his friends. All right, here they, he's bringing in his friends. If he comes this way, I'm running, he's guys. Not coming this way. He's going I don't know why I'm scared of cows. He's going with the herd. Please let me know if there's anyone else scared of cows. Yeah, that's a female. Brown one. Look how they walk. Look at the Look. Look like oh a... my gosh, they're having so much fun. How cool. cool is this? What an experience to watch this. They're all coming in with the rest of their family, yeah. their herd. They got the running river here to drink from. Beautiful flowers to eat. This is what Lots it's all of grass. about. This is what it's all about, guys. This is so cool. Hey, I grew up in Carroll County and we had cows and we never watched our cows at home, did we? I don't know, but I feel grease kicking up. And yeah, we're going to have to dark. get going. Thought we'd share. All right, I figured I'd give you a closer snapshot, guys. Look at this. It is so beautiful. There's plenty of places around the, the river here you could just have a picnic lunch. It's beautiful and so quiet. Sorry, I thought I had a bug on me. Just listen to that. All right, here's another part of the river here beautiful and it's starting to rain here okay so we decided to take the rest of this trail which puts you on highway 145 just to see you know what the rest of the trail was and um, it is beautiful we've ran into rock Red rocks and beautiful greenery and the cabins and the people's houses back here are just amazing. We were just reading the sign, but it's just beautiful back here. Out. Yeah, we're going to check it out.
grade, so we're on a little bit part of different part of the trail coming down this trailhead, and it's beautiful. There, it's getting to be a little bit more rocky. That it's a little sketchy in some areas. You just pay attention, not go too close to the edge. And we got to see a beaver. I don't know if I captured him, but there were two beavers. So. There he is. Oh, there he goes. Just don't hit him. Oh, he's beautiful. Look at that. Hopefully I can capture it. You want to try to film him? Let's go try to get him. Just don't let him hit the jeep. He's cutting across. This is an amazing trail, by the way, guys. Need more wildlife. This one's a bug. I'm going to try to zoom in as far as I can. Lance is... Oh, wow. He's got a very pretty rock. Mm -hmm. Wow, we're seeing all kinds of wildlife back here, I guess. Look at his rack. He keeps looking at us. It's very bright. Try to be quiet. Oh, my God. He's beautiful. There he goes. Just thought I would show we are at 10,000 feet and it's 61 degrees. <laughs> we didn't bring jackets. <laughs> so it's it's a little chilly up here in shorts and a t-shirt. 61 degrees feels cold. Hey, for the record, <laughs> I did ask him if we were going need our jackets or uh, fleece. He said, no, no, it'll be too warm. And now we're in 61 degree weather and look what I have on a tank top. Well, it's 85 <laughs> degrees back at the place. It's all good, but we're seeing some amazing wildlife in all. All right, we are at 57 degrees now. Burr. <laughs> and it did rain a little bit more up here. And it's a little bit more rockier, kind of lumpy, kind of. Not, not a difficult trail, but we're seeing a lot of deer up here. Everywhere we turn and look, we see deer. But it's really beautiful up here. Different world. Yeah. Let's see. My ears are cold. I know. <laughs> We love having the window sound feeling like we're part of it. All right, we're making it to the end of the trail. Epic trail. Amazing. Oh, yeah, it was cool. Yeah, so. Um, the hike was cool. Oh, there are a lot of things about Now, Ruby's dirty. I'm not going to lie. She's filthy. Look in the mirror. Yeah, <laughs> the mirror. She <laughs> is. Look in the mirror. Hold on. I'm trying to get the camera to turn around, but the can is bumpy. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, um, I'll yeah I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to get, show you Ruby real quick outside. How dirty she is. I'm not kidding. I think this is the worst Ruby's ever been. You can see the door here. And there's Ruby. How dirty she is. But anyways, we're going to end it. We got another quarter mile. We're going to be back on Highway 145. Um, so it was an epic day. This is an amazing trail. Can't County, say it County enough. County Road 38. County Road what? 38. 38. All right, keep on wheeling.